prediction, which is already becoming a reality, how to open the green door to the future, the net profit of a clear country, and it is possible to prevent global warming. Alternative energy sources, unique technologies, and what you never knew existed. Life Science, watch it now. And the more I thought about it, the more mysterious it seemed to me. While the cab was rumbling through the quiet, illuminated lights of the gas lamps, I remembered the whole chain of incredible events of the last day and night. The initial problem was completely clarified. From Arthur Conan Doyle's The Sign of the Four. Today in the program, Innovations in the Barnyard. Now we'll ferment it all, we'll mix it up into a big mass and then we'll load it into the filling. Biomass to biogas and biogas to the kitchen. Here we wanted to show you a gas stove where we use biogas. Whales in the fight for energy. Gas in this case we consider generally as a byproduct what Sherlock Holmes did not know about. The market for this equipment is very promising. How to get heat and light from manure, what biogas money smells like, and the night gold of farms. Waste to profits. The Roman Emperor Vespasian was very enterprising. To replenish the devastated treasury, he introduced a tax on public toilets, and in response and mockery, it was said, money does not smell, from the first century AD. In the 21st century, an ancient anecdote had an innovative continuation. Today it smells bad, tomorrow it will smell like money. This is a modern proverb and has no double meanings. Maxim comes to the crushing machine. This is our loading device, a trough. Now it will be filled with water and we'll crush it into a whole single mass. Stir the biomass and add fresh. One or a maximum of two loadings per day and the continuous operation of the entire station is ensured. We haven't finished the automation yet, so we have to mix everything manually. Now I turn on the crusher and start crushing. Now we'll crush it all, we mix it up into a single mass. The rest is to open the valve and the mass of biomass enters the reactor once and turns into biogas. All you need is hot water, animal products, and turn on the light. In the settlement in Bixi on the farm, the biogas plant has been in operation for a year now. Bacteria processes organic waste. For the successful of these bacteria, it is necessary to create conditions for them. This is the temperature regime, mixing, and lack of air access, then the anaerobic process will go ahead. It all started 10 years ago with the problem of how to dispose of organic waste. They had to learn new technology and new knowledge, and here is the result. To date this is the 13th model, each time it's being improved. Perfection has no limit, says Samat. There is always something to add and to make it more profitable. If all the parameters are respected, it turns out as well as possible. As output, we get fertilizers, biogas, fuel briquettes, and organo mineral fertilizers. As a rule, for large biogas installations, this is not only energy, the energy there is about 20%. It is a complex of various acquisitions. You can, for example, bring biogas to the stove and cook dinner, which actually is being done. Here we wanted to show you the gas stove where we use biogas. Here we installed the double burners. 
One works on propane in case of a lack of biogas, the second one works on biogas only. Gas goes to the canteen, we cook soup on it, fertilizers to farmers, fuel briquettes instead of coal. Economy is in everything. To support the operation of the biogas equipment itself, only 15% of the gas produced is required. Neighboring farmers are already interested in the invention. Near Taldi Korgan, there is such a village of Karabulak and the cattle breeding farm. At their request, we put in a small installation, and that's what you see here. Now, the inventors have decided to aim for something more, to enlarge the installation and increase the volume, and no specialists are involved. There are only two of us, I design, I order at Enterprises, and here is my assistant, Maxim. He collects all this. He's a good welder. The rotating drum mixes everything thoroughly. According to Samat, one cubic meter can generate two kilowatts of energy. If we put large equipment in large farms from a hundred heads of cattle and higher, these farms will provide themselves with heat, electricity and fertilizers. What, in general, is suitable for such equipment is fish and slaughterhouse waste, fodder residues, grains, silage, organics with high content of fat, sugar, protein, and even chemically contaminated food. All this is processed in the most wonderful way. This biomass contains a very large amount of vitamin B12, so this is a very valuable product. In many countries, it is used as a food supplement. Another important but so far not proven by science, that products are obtained in biogas reactors may even replace the drug. In some cases, at least, the farmers of one of the American eco-villages are sure of this. There is harmony in nature. For example, in the family, someone is sick. Maybe it's their kidneys or something else. Their waste, which comes out, is converted by means of worms into fertilizers. They plant vegetables on a certain patch of garden, fruit, and everything else, and add those fertilizers. And these fruit, for this family, are remedial. Whether this is true or not, the Kazakhstan eco-farmer Dennis Ten has not yet checked for himself, but he believes his colleagues from far away America. In the 60s, there were a big hippie gang that came to Tennessee by bus. The average age up to 90 or 95 years. In principle, it can be understood that to live without pills, without a hospital in a dense forest and feel great, is an enjoyable life. Night gold, they called the products of human life in the last century. They contain valuable elements, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. In any case, the products grown on biofertilizers are more useful than those treated with chemicals. In general, the history of modern biogas began in Holland. The chemist and physician Jan Baptist Helmont was curious and prone to mysticism. By the way, it was he who introduced into the scientific terminology the word gas, as he called it by analogy with the Greek word chaos. And he also noticed that decomposing biomass released flammable gases, which were easily ignited. Surely, he was not the first to notice such an interesting quality. But Helmont thoroughly studied and recorded the phenomenon.
The first documented installation was built in 1859 in India. Another interesting fact, in the days of Sherlock Holmes, London streets were lit with biogas lanterns since 1895. Biogas, this is the same natural fuel as the natural gas or propane butane mixtures that we get used to. Biogas technologies are promoted in the modern world and developed quite fast, mostly in countries where agriculture is well developed. According to the International Bioenergy magazine, about 90% of the biogas potential is contained in agricultural raw materials and only 8% in industrial and municipal waste. Reducing environmental damage, reducing greenhouse gas emissions with alternative fuels and alternative energy. China is ahead of the whole planet. Here are about 15 million biogas equipment units. India, China have very serious development in this area. They closely follow this and participate in development. Of course, they participate not just out of interest, but understanding how promising the market really is. In the top list of biogas powers in Europe is Germany. The largest biogas park is located in this country, and of course, Holland. They have developed a culture of agriculture. In general, they are implementing the latest technologies. And this is Austria. Here, as well as in Sweden and Germany, part of the energy produced is from biogas. It is heating houses and illuminating the streets. Speaking about Kazakhstan, this is an uncharted territory of the with huge amounts of agriculture and a developing structure in an agrarian country. The government pays great attention to the production of agriculture. It's an improvement. On my farm, I put up to five kilowatts myself. Here is this device. The country should compensate me about 50%, and it works. There have been already precedents. The state, in recent years, strongly stimulated the development of livestock crop production. The number of livestock increases with more waste. Well, what is needed for the successful operation of this technology is bio-waste. We have enough of this. For foreign equipment, they already have competitors in the Kazakhstan market. I would not say that our installations are very expensive compared to foreign examples. They're ten times cheaper. Almost an ordinary greenhouse, but the largest bed is occupied by a reactor. Not nuclear, but vigorous Dennis Ten jokes. He works on quail droppings the Almaty region, on an eco-farm. This is a very remarkable construction. It is necessary for processing all organic waste and separation of biogas. Sewage from mines, marshes, or just methane, there are lots of synonyms for biogas. The simplest hydrocarbon without color and without a special smell under normal conditions. And this is despite of the raw materials from which it stands out. Methane burns perfectly. Everything, we clean it, direct it in the right direction, and use it as communal facilities. Under a rubber membrane, the reaction goes on 24 hours a day, the biomass decomposes. It is loaded into the reactor once a month. Any organic waste, in our case it's quail's droppings, this dung from cattle, sometimes the neighbors bring me something. The installation, while considered the smallest, requires a lot of loading, 10 tons of biomass. And here is an important link in the process. The initial one produces the same waste. Several hundred quails every day are working for the benefit of the environment without knowing it. All organic waste, when it is exported to the landfill, begins to decay and thereby secretes ammonia, nitrogen and methane. 
By itself, livestock waste is a serious environmental threat, as methane in its purest form enters the atmosphere, being a strong greenhouse gas. These are the first gases that destroy our atmosphere and increase the greenhouse effect. Here, in this case, we use these gases with profit for ourselves. However, gas is just a pleasant and almost inexhaustible bonus. In the summer, when there's no heating, there's nowhere to put it. Then we will put the storage tanks, gas holders, says Dennis. Gas in this case we consider generally as a byproduct. The most important thing here is the production of highly concentrated organic fertilizers. Here it is the black gold of the farmer in a liquid and solid equivalent. Pure organics devoid of nitrates, weeds, pathogenic microflora, helminth eggs or special smells. In fact, using this fertilizer you can avoid all chemistry completely. And the most interesting thing is that this fertilizer is much cheaper than chemicals, but the problem is that chemicals are subsidized, organics are not. And so to summarize, a biogas installation is at first a disadvantage, still the products of combustion during use are present. In this case, of course, there is no harm, but this is a question of those installations that are currently in use. But the market for these installations is very promising. Today, scientists are close to the discovery. In the next year or two, I believe this decision will be found which will allow no burning gas. Even the available installations have many more advantages. First of all, for the countryside, those who have poultry farms, greenhouses or cow sheds. No need for settling tanks, it saves on construction, together with savings on fines for environmental pollution. Last year, the legislator registered an article in the Environmental Code, and now, since June 2016, the law has come into effect. Any organic waste is utilized by composting or biogas plants. Heat, electricity, gas stoves and fertilizers. In addition, a byproduct in the purification of biogas is carbon dioxide, and it can also be used, for example, as dry ice or for the production of soda, well, for any technical purpose. And the largest the dung heap is, the higher the efficiency is. Yet, it's quite an environmentally friendly fuel for cars. Biogas is a trend of the future, scientists say. There's no litter, it's just raw materials. Thank <laughs> you.